Digital AI influencers are about to take the internet by storm in 2024. Now you've probably already heard of AI influencers like Little Michaela and Atina Lopez. Well, they're about to be yesterday's news after Mid Journey's recent consistent character update, which essentially has simplified the process, which means anyone can create their own AI influencer within minutes. In this video, I'm teaming up with ChatGPT to show you guys how to create your own AI influencer images. We're also going to show you guys how to bring the images to life by adding motion to them. Not only that, we'll also show you guys how to make the influencer start speaking. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video. I'm going to first show you guys how to do this on the new Mid Journey website beta. It's only currently available to users who have generated more than a thousand images in the Mid Journey Discord bot. Now, if you don't have it or if it hasn't been released to the public yet, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do it in Discord after. Okay, ChatGPT, let's create the face of the influencer first. Certainly, Danny, here is a prompt you can use. Thanks for that. Let's now grab the prompt and head to Mid Journey, and we wanna paste it here at the top. Now, before we do, we wanna to go to the settings here. We wanna make sure for the image size, we've got it selected to square. So now it's generated four images here of the prompt that I was after. And you can see it's four close-up shots of a blonde woman. If you're not happy with the faces generated from the prompt, that's okay. You can just click here and it will rerun and it will generate you four more images. Or you can just ask me for an updated prompt. I'm gonna go with this image on the left here, guys, just to show you the next steps. You wanna click onto it. Now here's the cool part. You can just grab it, go back to ChatGPT, and paste it here. Okay, ChatGPT, I've selected my AI influencer's face. I want you now to provide me prompts depicting her in different settings. Certainly, Danny, give this prompt a try. All right, let's copy the prompt. Make sure you grab everything. Control C, go back to images, and we wanna go up here. We wanna press Control V. So we've pasted the prompt. Now here's the part. You wanna grab the image and drag it up here. Okay, so now you've dragged the image to the prompt. There's one more step, which is this one here, character reference. Make sure you select that, guys. And before we continue, we wanna make sure we select portrait. Now, I didn't even read the prompt. Let's just see what ChatGPT provides. If it's not good, we can ask for more prompts or we can ask for something specific. All right, so here's the results from the first prompt. If I had to choose which one looks uh, very much like the image here. I would probably say the third one. Um, so I didn't even read the prompt, but yeah, you can see there, it's pretty much grab the face and input it onto the actual influencer's face there. I'm gonna go back now and ask ChatGPT for more prompts and see what results I get. Okay, so I finished generating some of the results here. Essentially what I was doing was copy and pasting from ChatGPT and asking it for more prompts. And it took me about no longer than 10 minutes. Let me show you the results. Here's the first shot that was taken. It's in botanical gardens and you can see it looks very similar to the AI influencer. Um, here is another one that I liked. She's at a cafe drinking a coffee. Looks very much like our initial image. Here's one of her at the beach. Here's another shot of her hiking on top of a mountain and look how great the results have come out. Here's a nighttime shot, another angle as well, perfect results. Now we have her in a museum looking at some art. Here she is at a festival. I like this one because it's added the element of the snow. You can see it's all over her jacket and hair. Here she is at a campfire and like you can just see how cool this one would turn out once you add motion to it. And here's the final one. She's in a nice trench coat uh, and look at the, uh, the background and the trees. So some awesome results there. Now, if you're not happy with the quality of the image and you wanna make it as realistic as possible, like how I did, head on over to Krea AI, which is my preferred image enhancer. We wanna click here where it says upscale and enhance. Now, the image that I'm gonna enhance, I'm gonna grab this image, okay? So we wanna just grab it and we wanna just literally drag it on top of here. Now, it will show up on the right here and you wanna click settings. Now, the part that I want you guys to make sure you change is resemblance. Push it to about 70 because we don't want to change much. We just want to enhance the image, okay? And we want to click enhance. Now, I've only enhanced it to times two. You can do times four and times eight. All right, we finished enhancing. So the great thing about this, you can just grab this slider and drag it across. And you can see there, it's made it very, very realistic. 
You can see from the hair, the freckles have come out more. Now the results aren't always perfect, but if you select those parameters that I did, you'll most likely get very, very good results. Now before we move on, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to do this in Discord. Now this is my own server, which I created, and I also added the Mid Journey bot into this server. For a step-by-step -step process on how to do this, check out this video and I'll show you all of the steps. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to grab your initial close-up image of your AI influencer, press enter and let it upload. Then we wanna click forward slash imagine and we wanna paste one of the prompts that we generated. And before we press enter, you wanna do dash dash C-R-E-F. And then what I want you to do is press space. I want you to click here, drag it and paste it right there. And then I want you guys to press enter. So there you have it. The images have been generated and we're getting the same results. Obviously the website version is much more user-friendly. Let's move on to the next step. We're gonna add motion into the images to bring the AI influencer to life. We're gonna head over to Runway ML. We're gonna click here, which is start generating. And it gives us an option to drag one of the images. Let's grab that image that we enhanced before. So we just wanna click download on the right here drag it and paste it right there let it upload all right so we just want to go down here and we want to control the general motion we don't want to add too much motion okay so we're just going to go one and we're going to click here where it says generate i'm going to do this three times to show you three different examples now for those of you who haven't used runway ml before i just showed you how to do it the automatic way Runway ML gives you the option to do it manually as well. So check that out as well, guys. All right, so it's generated all three of our videos. Let's watch them. They only go for four seconds, okay? But here's the first one. I'll, I'll increase the size. So the first one's okay. A little bit of hair movement, which is good. Let's check the second one. Second one's a bit better. The hair is moving more and she's not changing. You don't want the character to change as much. And then here's the third one as well. So character's not changing, hair is moving. I like this one. I've gone and enhanced a few other images. I just want to show you the difference, guys. Look at that. Look at the look at the changes. Look how much detailed each particle of snow is. This one came out really nice. I really like how it's grabbing onto each snow particle. Uh, this is sort of what you would want. And I guess you would just add an, a song in the background uh, whilst it's looking at the actual AI influencer. So yeah, this result came out really well. Now, what if we want the character to speak? It's actually very, very easy, okay? So I'm just gonna grab the four second video. I'm just gonna download it. Now, the site that we're gonna go to is Pika Labs. We're gonna go here where it says image or video, okay? And we're gonna select the video that we just downloaded. And this is the section here that we wanna click, which is lip sync. Now here, you have the option to input whatever text you want. And then there's a bunch of different voices you can select from. These are all the voices from Eleven Labs, okay guys? And if you wanna put in your own audio, you can just drag it there. Now for the example, I'm just gonna write something specific and I'm gonna just pick a voice. Okay, so our video has now generated with the character talking. Let's see what the results are. I am going for a hike. So that's how you make your AI influencer talk if you want them to talk. So now you know three methods of content that you can create for your AI influencer, which can be used for your social media like Instagram or TikTok. I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.